All right, welcome back. And today's video, we're going to be covering um, some of my favorite YouTubers currently. I'm going to break this up into a few different videos. Um, so I'm going to do a favorite finance and general topic finance channels. Um, I'm also going to do um, a dividend focused uh, favorite YouTube channels that that would be a much bigger video. I am going to do um, alternative sources other than YouTube. I'll do that at some point. So that will cover like Reddit, some other sub boards I found. Uh, so probably at least three videos. So let's get into it. So some of these, hopefully, you know, I'm just going to explain kind of briefly what they cover. These are channels I watch on a regular basis. I am not endorsing any type of investment thesis that these channels are providing or what they're covering. I find them just interesting in my investment journey. So you might too. So this one, I've been following these guys for a long time. So you might think, what the, what a stupid name, right? Okay. So basically, it's it's three guys. Um, they all live down in, I think, in Texas. So uh, Chris Camillo, Dave Hansen. Um, <laughs> I can't remember the third guy's name. I'm sorry, dude. Um, so they used to have a normal channel where they did like YouTube videos. Now they do just lives. Um, they do them semi-regularly. They only really do it when they have an idea they want to talk about. And what I really like about them is I don't know how to phrase this. These are real investment guys. They're not YouTube investors that make a living off like courses or whatever else you can imagine. These guys are multimillionaire investors. They have assets in a lot of different businesses. Um, they've done private invest, you know, private investment uh, opportunities. So these guys just they run the whole gamut and uh, they share their ideas um, with us. And I appreciate it. Another cool thing for me on the East Coast, they usually do their specials on my lunch break, like from 12 to 1. So if you're on the East Coast, it's pretty convenient to follow their videos. They cover a wide range of topics. Um, again, these are not dividend channels. So they, and these are just, these are guys that give you ideas, right? Because it's hard to generate ideas if you're a 9 to 5 worker like I am. Um, I don't sit all day thinking about investment opportunities. These guys do that though. So they, and I'm grateful that they share their investment ideas. They talk about things from AI to the regional bank crisis. Um, they talked about trading opportunities based on uh, the Bud Light scandal um, and so forth. So they, they specifically Chris Camillo, who the guy, um, the guy in the middle, they do something called, he does something called social arbitrage investing. Um, if you want to read more about it, he's got a book. It is, 10 years old at this point, but this will cover his idea of what social arbitrage investing is. Basically, he's trying to find a, a disconnect between uh, information available on a, on a company and the, the company, like, how do I phrase this? So like, he's trying to arbitrage um, like a, a lack of information on a subject. Um, he looks for trends and momentum in trading. In, in a way that you probably haven't thought of. So he looks for um, an information arbitrage opportunity, whereas maybe like say a value investor looks for a disconnect in the intrinsic value of the stock. He's looking for a, or a disconnect in the information um, valuation of a company. So if you read the book and follow it, it it's, a, it's probably a different concept to a lot of you. I do this in my speculation account, kind of. It's it's very hard, honestly. And he has, he has tools. I mean, he has, he's basically like a hedge fund type person. He has search engines that you don't have, but um, I, they're, they're probably one of the more interesting channels. They're different um, to watch on online. So I appreciate them. Um, so just one really quick specific example. This is probably a terrible example, but he, he did get into um, the, the drug company that does um, Ozempic. Right. And he did this months ago. So um, Nova Nordisk. So he was talking about this months ago. Go check his channel. He was on the trend. It's basically through his interactions with people in his neighborhood and his, his various search tools online. He understood that there was like momentum and with this a social momentum about the, like this drug. And then this isn't what he does. But to show you like, oh, say, like if you did a Google search trend for Ozempic, you would notice there's like an increasing interest over the past 12 months. 
um, he has better tools than us, I'm telling you. But like, okay, this is just a very terrible example of something that would be a social arbitrage, social arbitrage investment opportunity. So check them out if you want. I enjoy watching their, uh, their lives. They don't do normal YouTube videos anymore. Um, I'm sure a lot of you that I've talked to know who Fabio is at Capital Mindset. Um, I met Fabio over a year ago um, after, I, after I found Strongman. Um, it's hard to describe. Where do I begin with Fabio? He, he's, he's a very intelligent, unique investor. Um, he, I, I wouldn't even peg his, his investing in any certain, uh, methodology. Um, he's very open-minded to all different types of investing. Even if he doesn't actually do that type of investing, he understands the value of like a dividend investment or a growth investment, or he's, he's done turnaround investment or turnaround plays on companies. Um, uh, he he has his own DCF models that he's developed, um, and you can watch. What I like about it, he shows you uh, better than a lot of YouTubers. He shows like an investment uh, research um, like process. He doesn't just go in and blast you with a software program and tell you you know throw some random numbers in a software program and tell you to pay thirty bucks a month. He goes through a, a very extensive you know twenty thirty minute overview of a company. Um, and then he goes to the valuation at the end. So he's showing you, uh, he's giving you an idea, an abridged version of what a process could be in your life for investments. Um, he has a Discord. I'm in it also. Um, so just throw that out there. He does lives occasionally um, in YouTube and Discord. Um, but I, I enjoy talking to him and following his YouTube channel. Um, and he's had some home run investments. Um, I've learned a lot about banking and finance from him. And all you know, my twenty years, I just I've not really invested in banks. That was kind of the reason I actually started following him in the first place. So check him out if you want. Uh, there's his channel. He also has a Substack. Uh, I'll just I'll just show he has he did a podcast on dividends. So I will raise the roof for that. That was a good good uh, podcast. This is his sub Substack. I don't know if he's doing the newsletter anymore. Um, so this is another channel I like, uh, investing sucks, which is a weird name, but whatever. So this is a, uh, an accountant he's in Canada. Um, and he, he does a lot of like, uh, again, like Fabio, he does very detailed investment videos, not on a very regular basis. Um, he also back tests, uh, investment methodologies that you'll hear about online. Like he'll back test uh, does dividend investing work or does, does buying a growth investment at any price work? Or he, he tested, uh, he back tested certain YouTubers, uh, processes through his software. So, um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm newer to following him, but he, he's got some interesting videos, um, when, when he gets them out. So you see, he's like, like the most recent month, he's only put out a handful of videos, but, um, go check him out. I don't know as much about him as some other channels. He has a software. It's in his details. Um, you can like, you can use it to do financial. De you can look at the financials of a company. You probably need to know a little about computer programming because some of his, this, this is kind of complicated to understand. You could run scripts. Um, so if you understand how to do that, this, this website can be useful to you maybe. Um, so this channel, um, I really, I, I, I really enjoy this guy's channel. Um, it's Nanalyze. So he, they invest. It's, it's a, uh, it's this guy's group. They basically do a lot of investments in small growth businesses. Um, he also, he loves to attack like meme stocks and silly things that are seen on the internet. Um, I will say like a lot of the reason he does the videos is though to promote his, um, his membership program. So keep that in mind, but he did a video like about like when target stock was start getting a lot of traction, you know, wh what he thought of it. Um, Elon Musk's adventures in, in China. Um, so he covers it, This isn't a dividend again. We're not talking dividend company or channels. So you can see he, he's basically specializing in growth investment opportunities. Um, this one, he he's one of my favorite channels I found recently. Uh, he, here's his membership page. Um, they do articles. I think it's $15 a month. I don't do it. 
Um, I actually might join it soon. I'm, I'm enjoying his videos, so we'll see. But I would definitely recommend um, if you're a dividend investor, you probably it'd be a good idea to follow this guy because these are probably investment theses maybe you're not aware of because he's more into like smaller grown this guy. So N Antonio invests. So he is um, he's kind of he's a fire guy. OK, so those financial independence guys, he's, he's trying to get financial independence. So he has dividend investments. He does covered calls. He does all sorts of stuff like that to generate uh, investing income in his portfolio. Um, I find it's kind of interesting because he's this is a perspective I don't have like the fire movement and I don't follow a lot of channels that do like this covered call stuff. Um, his videos are a lot of just um, covering like his portfolio. Like he does like just weekly updates on his portfolio. So if you want to watch somebody's process and see what they're doing as like a dividend investor, um, he's a channel you could watch. I'm, I'm enjoying listening to his channel. Um, I think he used to be called something else. It wasn't Antonio invest. I think it was, it was something else. Um, okay. Unrivaled investing. Um, this was more of a recommendation from some people I've talked to on discord. Um, so I started following him a few months ago. So I don't, I'm not that familiar with him yet. He does various investment topics. So he doesn't have a specific, um, I guess, type of video he does. Like, uh, I found this kind of useful, um, his Charles Schwab video when I was doing my research and then he had a Charles Schwab video. So he talked about it also. Um, he saved me a little bit of time when I was looking at Charles Schwab cause he had covered some of the topics and it made it easy for me to search myself. Um, this is kind of a refreshing page. Um, his videos are pretty short, like 13, 14 minutes, maybe. Um, I enjoy it. Um, I think he's, he's not a terrible finance YouTuber. He's not one of my favorites yet, but I haven't really followed him long. Um, so go check it out. He has a membership website. I don't know anything about this. Um, so if you want to go look, you can, but I don't, I don't know anything about what, what this is. I know it's a paid service. So this guy, so this guy, I love this page. If you, if you want to watch somebody bash Elon over the head with a blunt instrument, this is the guy's, this is the page for you. This guy does 30 minute. I think he's, he's like an engineer. I'm pretty sure he's an engineer. He goes very detailed about, um, what he would, what he would say, accused Elon of lying and deception and Tesla of, of so, so forth. Um, this video is awesome. <laughs> Check out te it's uh, Tesla semi delivery failures. You could just search semis. Um, so he's done a lot, a lot of videos covering um, Elon as a con man. It's what he says. I'm not saying it, um, but he is. He does other topics too. Um, he, he's he's talk like when people talk about certain technologies, he will go into it. Um, like he's he's done videos on fusion, like the breakthrough they were talking about a few. I think it was like a month or two ago, and he actually like discusses if it's a feasible technology or if it's all just nothing but you know guff. So <clears throat> I enjoy this channel. <laughs> it's my if so if you're not a big fan of Elon Musk, this is the channel for you. Um, and then here, the Dean of Valuation. I'm sure you all know who this is. Ashwath uh, Dam Damardan. I'm sorry if I screw his name up. Damardarn. Um, so he's a professor at the you know NYU Stern Business School. He, I'm pretty sure you all know who he is. It's called the Dean of Valuation, right? He 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 puts out literally uh, courses that he teaches. He put he puts them on this website. You can just listen to this while you're at work. Um, I'm not particularly a value investor, but like I said, I like to get perspectives of people that may, just because I don't 100% follow someone to clone them. I, I, I want to hear what they have to say sometimes. So I watched one of these series. I think it was like the 15 part one, like two months ago. I watched all of it. I think it was this one, but you know, this is some meaty stuff. He's literally putting like his, his classes from his, from his teaching on here. So I find it uh, very interesting. I would appreciate, you know, the free service he's providing to the public here, which, uh, you know, hats off to him. He has a website um, related to his university. Um, so you could literally just, it's just, uh, you can see the website there. Uh, it's, it's basically, if you just type his name and, and, and uh, Stern 
business school, you'll probably find this on Google. So lot, there's a lot on here. So if you go, um, so here's the main page. If you go to tool or uh, here's the main page. So if you go to tools, spreadsheets, he has all these models. These are all various forms of DCFs and modeling softwares and free cash flow models and just just crazy amounts of just free uh, data that you can pull from. I, I use um, one of these valuation spreadsheets I pulled and I modified it. So I was I appreciate that. So if you want to like have a place to start with a some sort of DCF or modeling software, um, this might be a good place for you to start. Um, that's up to you. All right. Now, Patrick Boyle, another massive YouTuber. Um, he does. He's he's uh, again. He's like a professor, right? He's a, another university professor. He also is a quant trader. Um, so he does all sorts of topics of the day. Um, he's so it's more of like just you know a thirty minute show he's providing. Uh, so you can check him out. I don't think he needs much of an introduction from me. Um, so he'll just cover bigger topics that have more of a. Some of them are like macroeconomic type topics, but I've enjoyed his channel. Um, he does sometimes he'll do like lives and then you can talk to him, which is kind of cool briefly anyways, but so be, also with Patrick Boyle, um, he, he, he's written a few books. I read this book. Um, so this is, I'll just put this, if you want to try and read this, this book is heavy, um, very heavy, um, lifting. So if you have maybe an accounting or finance background, these are very, um, it's a very complicated, some of the topics he's going into. Um, it, maybe it's, it, maybe it'll interest you. It's about corporate finance specifically. Um, so it's, this is practically a textbook. Exit liquidity would be Jesse's channel. He just started doing more videos lately. So he, he does, uh, most of his videos are like specific stock reviews. Um, he has his own modeling software and he'll show what he put in there and what his feelings are. He'll cover the presentations uh, of the company. So he goes, he goes, you know, into de into detail about a specific stock that he's looking at investing in, um, and gives his audience opinion about it. Um, so I enjoy talking to Jesse every week. Um, so maybe you want to follow, he has a discord channel. I'm also in that discord. Uh, if you want to go in there also, he just did a portfolio update. I guess he said he was going to start doing portfolio updates and stock reviews, but he doesn't just put out um, what I'm like. He, he actually like the stocks that he covers are stocks he's genuinely interested in. He's not just putting out um, a stock review because it gets uh, attention on YouTube. I don't think he's these are companies he genuinely is interested in as an investor. So, you know, appreciate that. Um, so. Those are my favorite finance YouTubers. And like I said, eventually I will do uh, another video that does the dividend, the OGs, the real deal dividend YouTube channels. Some of them are my favorites well, because it is what it is. Um, and then a separate video, like I said, I'll cover other alternative sources of like, like Reddit, what Reddit uh, groups I'm in. Um, there's some other subgroups I, I follow. It's not as much as you think. So I hope I've, let's see, I've bored you to death for 20 minutes. So, you know, go check out these channels if you're, you you want to have some more content to follow. Um, and uh, thanks for listening. Um, and I will see you on the next video.